Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my night routine. I'm super excited to follow this up after the morning routine, so I hope you enjoy it and let's get started. So the first thing I do after I get done with work at 5 p.m. is fill out my productivity planner, basically my task list for the next day. I like to do this while it's still fresh on my mind and it's my reminder that a great day starts the night before. And you can always do this in the morning before your work day starts, but sometimes I like to get to it right after work the day before. I go into this a little bit more in detail in my morning routine, so if you wanna see some more, check that out. As you can see, I'm already shower and dressed. I like to go on a walk right after I get off work to get a little bit of sun, get some vitamin D, and kind of just get myself out of being in that stagnant position from the day. So yeah, lately I've been wearing no makeup. Um, so yeah, I just put my clothes on and I go. If you're not comfortable walking around outside during this time, you can always step out onto your porch or your balcony like I'm doing. Um, or if I'm short on time, I'll do this. But today I have some extra time, so I wanted to walk around the neighborhood and check out some of the shops nearby. I love when I do give myself the chance to walk because it's so nice. It just makes me slow down and appreciate things and I discover new places around where I live this way. It's late in the summer here in Atlanta so all of the flowers are in full bloom and you can even see some of the bees buzzing around which I thought was really cool. I'll social distance when I'm walking around outside, of course, but if I go indoors or into a store or anything, I'll wear a mask, um, but when I'm walking outside, I usually don't put it on. That's just me. During this quarantine, I've really become best friends with phoning friends, and I did that on this walk. I uh, FaceTimed one of my best friends, which you can do if you opted out of walking around the neighborhood and just stayed indoors. You know, still make an effort to connect with a friend or a family member so that you don't feel so isolated. It's so, so amazing, and I feel so lucky to be able to connect with people in this way through just a device in my hand and still cultivate and build those relationships while in isolation. And they make me laugh. <laughs> When I'm back home, the first thing I usually do is turn on the lights. Even though it has gotten darker since I first left the house, I will only put on dim lights because I wanna still get myself ready for bed and let my brain sort of know it's time to be calm and um, get sleepy. So there's a science to it. <laughs> Now it's time to make dinner at around 7.30. I love cooking, so I love trying out different recipes and a variety of foods. And I also meal prep every Sunday, or I try to. So this week I made tom yum soup from Chrissy Teigen's Cravings Cookbook, and it was so good. Um, it had mushrooms, all types of vegetables, and I cut some tomato and lime to put on the top. Time to eat, watch a movie, and wind down. I don't watch much TV, but now with the pandemic going on, I'll usually watch something in the evenings and on the weekends. If you're in the mood for a healthy dessert, I've got the perfect option for you. Just grab a banana, chop it up, um, get a couple tablespoons of peanut butter, or as much as you'd like. <laughs> then add some coconut shavings on top, as much as you'd like to. I happen to love coconut, so I'm gonna add a whole bunch. 
and then you've got a healthy dessert and it's so delicious. Then it's time to turn in. Don't forget to turn out the candles if you lit one. Okay, I'm in my comfy pajamas and now it's time to brush my teeth and floss, it's very important. <laughs> I found these floss picks on Amazon. I really like them, they're eco-friendly and um, really convenient, so I recommend them. I'm also going to put my hair in a pineapple because I have curly hair. It helps protect my hair while I sleep, and I do sleep on a silk pillowcase. I go further into this in my curl routine, so check that out if you are curious about curly hair. Now, I don't have an extensive process for my night skincare routine. I keep it really simple and just wash my face with warm water and put on Mario Badescu's Honey Moisturizer at the moment. And you want to always apply any product to your skin going upwards, so against gravity, so as to not cause, you know, premature wrinkles and all that. Finally, it's time to close the blinds. Before bed, it's essential that I meditate. You can sit upright in a chair or cross-legged on the ground like I am on a pillow um, at the foot of my bed. I've been using the Balance app. It's an app that uh, gave one year free this year, so I tried it out and I really, really like it. it. It happens sequentially, so it's not ad hoc like a lot of other apps, and I, I like how I can build that habit in the app. Meditation relaxes my mind, it removes negative distractions, it helps reduce blood pressure through increased relaxation and oxygen to the brain, and improves psychological functioning and alleviates stress and anxiety. It has so many benefits. Um, I know it's recommended that you meditate in the morning, but for me it's just easier to meditate at night. So I go back and forth at times, but the importance is to build the habit and it doesn't happen overnight. So just have patience because it is really, really worth it. This isn't sponsored or anything. I've just been using this app all year and I really, really like how it works. By this time, I'm super calm and relaxed. I'll get into bed and do my gratitude journal the night section so if you have the five minute journal um, you fill out the parts that are the three most amazing things that happened to you that day and maybe what could have been better I truly enjoy this part of my night I get to reflect on my day and kind of what made it sparkle now, absolute last thing I like to do before heading to sleep is read a chapter or even a couple pages of a book. I tend to read like two books at a time. Right now, one of them is The Tenth Insight by James Redfield. It's super interesting. It's the sequel to Celestine Prophecy, which is one of my favorite books. It just kind of opens my mind and gets me just so excited about living life. I highly recommend this book, but yeah, I don't always do this before bed, but I try my best to because studies show that it makes you really, really um, sleepy and ready for bed. That's all, folks. Lights out. Good night.